a lot of times we just focus on how to make ourselves look beautiful and forget our inside. Not remembering that the fragrance of the inner beauty lasts much more longer. It might not be seen, but it is felt. How you make someone feel the person does not forget it. But how you look, someone might just um, not see you and forget about it. How beautiful is your heart? As a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. What and what go on in your heart? Some things that go on in our hearts, we are not proud to share it to the next person. We are like, thank God that, that nobody sees my heart. This is the simple truth, and we all know it, no matter who you are. We all know this. But how often does that happen? Hello. I know you know that you were beautiful. You were handsome. You look gorgeous and amazing. Yes. So we are all made in the image of God. So you are amazing. But did you know that inner beauty is much more important? And its fragrance is way more sweeter, stronger, and lasts much more longer than that of the outer beauty. How beautiful are you on the inside? The Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. A lot goes on in our hearts. What and what go on in your own heart? Of course, God knows that we have lots of things go on in our hearts. And he says, guard your heart with all diligence, for out of it flows the issues of life. Most of the times we spend a lot of energy, you know, trying to make ourselves look beautiful, putting in a lot of work to make ourselves look good and attractive to others without even caring about what goes on in your heart. You're just focusing on your physical looks. And yes, the fragrance that emits from inner beauty is much more lovelier, sweeter, and lasts much more longer than that of the outward beauty. When you're beautiful on the inside, you don't even need much effort to attract people because you're just doing your thing. You're just being beautiful. It is the inward beauty that keeps relationships. And people won't forget how you make them feel. When someone is beautiful on the inside, it shows, it is felt. Inner beauty produces empathy, respect for others, kindness, love. Name them all the beautiful things. When you're beautiful on the inside, it shows. You receive favor from God. And of course, when you receive favor from God, who is that man that won't want to favor you? Let's put much more energy in trying to make our inside look beautiful than we do towards our physical look. Sometimes the thoughts that go on in our hearts, we are not even proud to share it with people. Yes, and this is just because we are human beings, I know. But that is why God has provided a manual that we should follow. He knows that a lot go on in our hearts. And that is why he says, guide it with all diligence, for out of it flows the issues of life. He knows that in our heart is where hatred is nursed, envy, jealousy. Name them, all the negative things. 
And most of the times, you nurse it without knowing it. And before you know it, it matures and you, uh, you execute them. You produce them. You, you start you know, seeing that wherever you go, these things are following you around just because that's what you welcomed in your heart. And they've lived there and you are nursing them and they are enjoying themselves in your heart. But one beautiful thing is that God has given us control over all those things, over our feelings, over what we think about, over the things that go on in our hearts. He has given us power over them. What do you let into your heart? As a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. So how are you? What does your heart say? If you're not beautiful on the inside, forget about the physical look. It doesn't matter as much. I know they say looking good is good business. And when you look good, you're being pleasant to others. That is awesome. But much more important than that is how your inside looks. What do you nurse in your heart? Do you nurse all the negative things or all the positive things? Because God cares about us. He loves us. He knows. He knows us more than we know ourselves. He went further to give us expo about those things. Philippians 4, 8, he says, whatever things that are pure, whatever things that are honest, whatever things that are true, whatever things that are lovely, whatever things that are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be anything that is praiseworthy, think on those things. Remember, as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. If you let your hearts think of all the good things, you don't, you can't help but be good. And on the other hand, the opposite would be the case. What and what do you let into your heart? Remember that the beauty of the inner beauty shows, it is felt. It imparts life positively. Likewise, the other one. Your inner beauty keeps relationships. Your outward beauty can attract a person, but the inward beauty flourishes the relationship and also has much more attraction than the outward beauty. Beauty. In as much as you're working on trying to look good, doing this, doing that, you know, um, if you put the same energy into becoming self aware, because that's what my videos are geared towards, you know, making us creating awareness in our hearts and making us know that these things are much more important. There are things, and these are the things that on a daily basis, we might not even think of them. On a daily basis, I mean, it doesn't even cross our heart. But when you come across a video like this, it would, you know, well up something in you. What and what go on in your heart? Remember, as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. As you think in your heart, so you are. Do you think, do you nurse, do you give home to all the negative things? All the not so good things? Envy, jealousy, um, um, hatred, and the likes? Or do you give thoughts to the lovely things, to the beautiful things, to virtues, to 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 truthful things, to honesty. The Bible says, if you're willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Yes. The first step is becoming aware of those things. Because sometimes these thoughts just come. 
you know, they just search our heart and we give them home, we relax and it takes us to places that we shouldn't be. And sometimes when you remember yourself, something gives you a nudge and you come back to reality, right? That is part of what makes us human beings. And then you need the Holy Spirit to help sift the thoughts that surge through your heart. It is the Holy Spirit that can help you with that because there are lots of things we can't do as human beings, no matter how hard you try, no matter how well you try to get better. You find yourself not doing that, not getting better. You're like, what is happening? You need the Holy Spirit. You invite him into your life and he will take control. And once you invite him, then being willing and being obedient comes into play. Are you willing to do what he asks you to do? The Holy Spirit is ever ready to help forge our hearts of all evil, of all the negative thoughts and to make us much more beautiful than we had ever imagined. May God bless us, bless you, and keep you. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.